Hello, my loves, and welcome to your reading. Now, before we get started, please do remember that energy is interchangeable. So feel free to take messages, flip them, twist them, reverse them, however you see fit. If it does not fit, please do not try to force it. Just feel free to check your chart and check your other placements. Past, present, or future, you tell me as time is fluid and we are all on different timelines. And as always, please do remember that these readings are for entertainment purposes only. Um, with that said, my loves, let's get right on to it, shall we? Yeah, we're doing a pick a card. Um, it's this is basically what's what's coming in love. What's next in love? What is next in love? Now, I've already just pulled out three piles. Um, so you're going to have pile one, pile two, pile three. I'm going to pull out an individual charm for each pile. Feel free to listen to whichever one you feel drawn to the most. Um, feel free to watch them all. Honestly, if you feel inclined, you might find something in there. Um, but yeah, we're going to start off with pile one. So... Let me put pile two over here. I got tons of cards from different decks for different piles. So let me just put this over here. All right, that's pile three. There's pile two. And now we're starting off with pile one. Um, I'm going to pull out a charm. Take your time. Think of which number you feel drawn to the most. And again, if you feel drawn to just listen to all of them, if you feel drawn to listen to them, but in a specific order, do that, you know, go at your gut. There is no right or wrong way to um, listen to a read. All right. Oh, fish, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Someone could be swimming in their feelings. Some of you, you could be catching your fish. Someone could get you on the hook could be a Pisces as well. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, someone's going to get you on the hook. Someone's going to get you in your feels, or you're going to get someone on the, hook, on the hook and on your feels. All right. Oh, shit. Ooh. So this feels like it's going to be a very intense connection and other people aren't going to like it. Mm, this feels like this could have someone who has someone else already attached to them. Even if it's like, um, could even be where it's like, it could be like one of those exes, a toxic ex, but at the same time, they don't want to see the other person move on. You could have a toxic ex who doesn't want to see you move on. You've got a really intense connection here. Mm -mm. Ah, shit, do you ever... So it feels like you're going to meet someone. This person's going to be at a distance. You could meet this person while traveling. This feels like someone who you're going to feel like you've just known each other all your life. Again, very intense connection, a sense of recognition. You're going to, you're not going to understand it, but you're just going to feel pulled to this person. Um, there's going to be a lot of sexual chemistry, sexual intensity as well. Um, this is someone you're going to literally feel so connected that it's like you won't even realize that you know you're envisioning plans with this person going places doing things and they always say you know how uh, you want to know where a person's going to be in your life uh, one year from now five years from now ten years from now when you think about your future and you think about the plans that you're making if they're there in them that tells you now <clears throat> Could be an age difference. Um, there's going to be a lot of sex between you and this bitch. I'm just saying. Y'all going to be fucking like rabbits. I'm just saying. Um, oh, you know what else? There could be a difference where maybe someone's not ready to settle down. Someone wants to be single and the other one is just like kind of wanting something more. You could find yourself wanting more. Um, they could. It's going to creep up though. This could start off something that has a lot of sexual desire, but at the same time, it's like there's more there. It turns into so much more. But also, I'm getting drawn to the energy to the story. For some of you, someone, whether it be you or them, someone could have like a toxic ex who doesn't want to see the other person move on. Um, it's like even if we're not together, you still have to stay single. You know, they could have, they could feel jealous or a type of way if they feel like, oh, you're going to upgrade from me, bitch. But I'm hearing, let me, let me, let me upgrade you. You're going to, there's a sense of youthful energy. 
Um, you're just going to feel like you can be yourself with this person. This is someone your inner child is going to... Your inner child's going to feel safe to basically sing and dance and frolic around with this person. This is like a connection where it is. It's like you both feel safe. Like you can just be yourselves. Let your guard down. Um, there's just going to be the sense of knowing. You're just going to know. Also, I don't know why I want to say this, but well, I mean, it goes hand in hand with what I said with the Forever Young, too. You, there's going to be the sense of certainty, sense of knowing. You don't know how you know, but you just know. Not only that, there's a sense of feeling safe with this person. It's like knowing that you can trust them, knowing that you can feel safe when with them. Someone could... Uh, I'm a little bit country. I'm a little bit rock and roll. Someone could be more so kind of outdoorsy. Someone could be more so of a homebody. Uh, someone could be like some form of driver. Someone can drive a work van. Um, someone could have a culinary background as well. Someone could be a good cook. Uh, I feel like some this person could like to take rides, drive places. Um, they could be a good cook, but at the same token, not really like cooking. This could be someone who, much as they know how to lay it down in the kitchen, they prefer to uh, just go out and eat. They don't like the whole hassle of it. Um, but, you know, it's funny. I feel like for you, they'd make the exception. Um, yeah, see, look, supermarket forest cabin. Look, someone could be a little more outdoorsy. Someone could be a bit of a, a homebody. Um this person's going to want to take you away, go on getaways. This is like uh, packing for a trip, getting some stuff, and then let's just go away. Let's go away to a cabin for a while or just go somewhere in the middle of fucking nowhere and just get lost. Oh, shit. Some of you could end up meeting this person within the next month. I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication. Uh, this person's going to know. They're going to be a great communicator. Could be an air sign, I feel called to say, uh, inclined to say. Um, either that or Pisces. Could be uh, water and air regardless. Um, you're going to really look forward to talking to this person. Uh, this person has a, a romantic side to them. This is someone who, they are, they're a bit of a romantic. You're going to know. Does he love me? I want to know. How can I tell if he loves me? So you're going to be able to tell how this person feels by the way that they talk. This is someone who takes care. They take extra time to articulate their words when it comes to the conversations with you. Um, but I feel like uh, for some of you, you can meet this person within the next month. Um, some of you, you can meet this person summer, spring, wherever that is where you are. Everyone's different. You're just going to know. You're just going to know. So, I don't know. I, I'm not getting a bad energy. The only bad energy that I have of this that I don't like is there could be a looming X. I don't know if it's yours or theirs, but there could be someone who doesn't want the other person to move on. Um, they're going to feel a type of way because they're going to feel like the other person is upgrading. It's the type of energy of someone who, even if they're not with you, they still don't want you to be with anyone else. They basically want you to be like an elf on the shelf, be a good bitch and sit on the shelf. And you know, that's it. Um, but yeah, uh, I like that for you. So I'm going to leave that there. Pile number one. That's what I got for you. That's your read. Next up, pile number two. What do we have going on for pile number two? Anchors away, my boys. Anchors away. Someone could have service background. Some of you can meet. Someone could have history. Uh, someone could have um, ties to military or the navy. Um, someone could be a seal. 
someone could like boating, someone could have a boat, someone you can meet them in the summer, someone could be born in the summer. Your ship's coming in. This is your ship coming in. This is going to be your person. The ship's coming in. So whatever ships you've been waiting on in regards to your love life, this is them coming in with this person. Okay, so this is like love where you least expect it. Um, you're not going to see this one coming. Um, this could literally be one minute you're just out there doing your thing, living your life, single. And then the next thing you know, you start talking to a bitch. It's like meeting the right person. And it's like, where did you even come from? This bitch comes out of nowhere. You're going to... You're going to feel like you've known this person all your life because this, there's going to be a strong past life connection there. I feel like this is someone who's meant to be in your life. Um, there's going to be a failure to launch is what I want to say. Um, for some of you, this could be someone who you meet through your job. Um, doesn't have to be. Um, could be someone who has some form of service background. I believe I said that. I said that with the ship, right? Um, could be someone who's a bit of a workaholic. Um, now when this first comes in, here's the thing. Again, this is love coming in when you're not looking for it. This could come in when you're closed off to the idea of love Four of, um, pentacles, four of swords to the knight of cups. This kind of comes in out of nowhere unexpected because how did you get here? Nobody's supposed to be here. Um, so I mean, you can meet this person in February. So someone could, could be crafty. Someone could like to, uh, paint, um, something to do with miniatures or figurines. Someone could also be a bit of a risk taker. Someone could like to gamble. Someone could like to play scratch off. Someone could like the casino. Um, mm, okay. So someone could be a bit of a, not the best with them with their money. Um, someone's money. Someone could have addictions that they kind of withdraw into. Could be drinking. Um, could be gambling. Um, I get more so someone like maybe something like drinking or something that like that. Cause the vision I'm getting is someone who basically likes to, um, knock a few back while, um, Tending to a craft, mastering a craft. Someone could be, you know, artistic in some form of fashion. Um, it's almost like someone who they have a talent, they have a skill, but they don't really do anything with it other than entertain it in their alone time. It's like they have something to offer the world, this gift, but they choose to keep it to themselves. Uh, their favorite time uh, is they they like alone time. Like I'm literally seeing like someone who would literally like kind of go down in their basement and uh, just get to work on, you know, whatever it is that they're creating. It feels very artistic, you know, drinking and then crafting. Um, as I say that tavern, someone could, again, someone could like to drink. Um, you can meet this person while you're at a crossroads in your life. So, I mean, you could literally meet this person while walking past a bar. Um, or again, someone could frequent at the bar. Um, if you don't meet this person in February, it could just be in the winter. Um, but again, there's a sense of back and forth that we have two of, we have a balancing act, which is like two of pentacles energy, the crossroads, which gives me two of wands type energy and two of swords. You're going to be, and we have four, 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 the four of swords and four of pentacles. 
And this gives me the energy of like two, two, two. You're going to be blindsided. You're going to get caught off guard. You're not going to know what to do. Now you or them could find yourself at a form of means of crossroads where you're like, you're kind of blindsided. It's almost like, where did you come? Uh, where did you come from? I, how did you get here? Nobody's supposed to be here. Someone who's more so closed off. Uh, I'm not sure if you're the one who's closed off in the articulate one um, or they are, but this is, feels like kind of coming in unexpected when someone wasn't even looking for it. It's like, uh, here I was just living my life. And then next thing I know, I crossed paths with you. And then it was like, how did you get here? Nobody's supposed to be here. And it's just going to feel like, holy shit, this is my person. Now, again, I said, I feel a sense of failure to launch. So this could be something that takes a bit to, to actually get off the ground, to actually get any form of footing because there's too much indecisive type energy. Again, I told you very strongly between the two of swords, that blindsided type energy, this crossroads, which crossroads, which gives me the two of wands type energy two two, and the balancing act, which gives me two of pentacles type energy. That's two, two, two. That's a lot of indecisive type energy. Um, could be dealing with um, an air sign for all the wishy-washiness. Um, yeah, because um, the Two of Swords is also, that's that's the card of uh, Libra. Um, doesn't have to be, though. I feel like it's going to take a minute for this to actually get anywhere, get any form of footing, though. Because it's going to basically catch someone off guard and they're not going to know what to do. Um, because again, I keep hearing Deborah Cox. How did you get here? Nobody's supposed to be here. I tried that love thing for the last time. My heart said, no, no, nobody's supposed to be here, but you came along and changed my mind. So I feel like this is something that someone's going to sit and stew on before they actually make a decision to actually do anything towards it. So you could find yourself in an energy where four of pentacles, four of mirrors, you close off to them. They close off to you. You both close off to each other, could even stop talking. And then here we go, knight of cups. Now we're coming back in with the form of resurgence. So I feel like there will be a form of failure to launch, but it's because there's too much indecision before someone finally makes a decision to take some form of action towards this. Um, but yeah, Pile two, that is what I got for you. That is your read. Last and most certainly not least, pile three. What do we have going on for pile three, please? Something coming back into full bloom. I don't know why I'm getting... Uh, this, the black on the flower is making me feel like uh, Scorpio, Scorpionic energy. And it's making me think in my mind's eye, like the lotus flower. This could be something coming back, flowers from the dead. Um, spring is also a sense of renewal. But you notice, again, this isn't like a pink or fluffy duff color. It's got that darker Scorpionic energy to it. So this could be in regards to something. I'm seeing the death card in my mind's eye. Something that was once ended, that ended wanting to have a sense of uh, resurgence. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, for those, if this, all right, for some of you, this could be something where you've had time apart. It's, and if it's not that, if this isn't something old coming back, this is to let you know, this is something that's going to have a time, a, spl a time of split off before it actually comes back. Because this feels like time and actual physical distance are fat, are key factors, key components to this, to this, um, connection. Um, Justice, the hot seat, King of Wands, Two of Cups. Okay. So 
I do. I feel like this is either a situation that has already had some form of separation or it will have some form of separation because this connection is meant to help you elevate, ascend, cut out things that no longer serve. Um, I have a form of um, time apart to do some form of inner work. Uh, so it's not going to quite exactly get off the ground at first. Or if, again, if you dealt with this already, this never got off the ground. It went through a form of separation. Um, I feel like around the time that this comes, or for right now, you, for some of you around the time, there's a sense of being cold. Some of these could be divorcees. doesn't have to be with that ice queen, but there's a sense of back turn, kind of cold and closed off, just kind of work or, uh, focused right now. Um, I feel like, but I feel like when this actually does come together, if you haven't had a separation from this person, when this person comes into your life, there will be be something that happens that will ca cause some form of disconnect or, you know, it could be time. It could be actual physical distance that are key factors that cause this to actually come apart, but it's meant to come apart. So this way it can come back together. Um, I feel like when it does come back together, whether you've already had a separation from this person or the, um, when the separation comes back together after you meet, um, Take it how it resonates. I, I feel like I'm grabbing two sets of timelines. It just feels like at the time that this does come back together, you will be more so kind of cold, closed off, and kind of focused on your work more than anything, not focused on the connection in and of itself. Um, there could be an energy with this person or could have been, if this is someone you have already dealt with, where you could have felt like this person only wanted one thing, or you may feel that this person only wants one thing that they're just looking for, you know, a hookup or friends. This is someone they're going to come very full force, full throttle with a sense of sexual energy. Um, I don't feel like it's because that they just want to get in your pants. It feels like it's just because they happen to feel very intensely about you. They're very attracted to you or they will be. Um, for some of you, you can meet this person in the summer, or this can come back together in the summer. Someone could be born in the summer. I feel like there's time and distance that are meant to play key factors in here. Um, <clears throat> someone could have a sense of they can, all right, how you're going to know who this person is. They're going to be someone who comes off very charismatic and they're going to seem like they've got it all going on for them. But at the same time, it's all smoke and mirrors. It's a show. This is someone, and this could be the catalyst for this to actually fall apart. It's like this person might come forward in an energy where they present themselves to be a bit more than they actually are to try to build themselves up in your eyes. I'm literally hearing that song, in your eyes, in your eyes. But meanwhile, they're not all, they're not exactly what they appear to be, what they seem. They're trying to make themselves seem a little bit more so more grandiose than they actually are. And that might be a reason for them to actually pull back, fall back because it's almost like, oh shit, I, I came in with this illusion, this false image. Meanwhile, I'm cause I'm just a teenage dirt bag. And I'm saying it's a teenage dirt bag. What I'm saying is this is someone who tries to come off and present themselves to be something that they're not really when they're just, you know, they're, they're, they're not all that they're trying to make themselves up to be. They're trying to come forward in a false image. Um, this person could also be a bit of a health nut, could like to work out um, and like to travel. For some of you, someone could actually have worked on a ship at one point in their life um, or worked out as a... Um, in the gym, uh, you know, uh, been a trainer or some shit like that. For some of you, uh, this could, this person could have a bit of, um, a history to them where it's like, uh, they could have a bit of a history where it's like, you know, they get around or they got around, uh, for some of you, this could be someone with a bit of a colorful background, you know, where maybe they got around a bit. Um, Oh, that could be a thing too. It's like if someone tries to come off as, you know, one thing, meanwhile, you know, they got a bit of a history to them, but then again, who doesn't? And it's like, you know, maybe they got around a bit much, you know, but I don't want to be a player no more. They want you to view them in a good light. And then it's almost like they try to 
be it's like you make them want to be this person that this image that they're trying to present to themselves to be to you and it's almost like wait a minute i can't pretend to be that i have to be that i want to be that person but i can't have them find out that i'm not hence there could be a sense of disconnect um i do feel like uh, this is a connection that has its own form of test uh, test of time uh trials and tribulations with that justice card but i feel like everything all in due time it will come together as it's supposed to when it's supposed to um it just feels like it is it's like you're gonna have a bit of trial and tribulation before this actually comes together but i feel like it's meant to it's meant to be this way because it feels like you're both gonna have stuff that you need to work on and focus on before you two can actually come together and it's like when the time apart is when you two actually work on do your own stuff. You basically walk down your own little rabbit trail, right? But I feel like you're going to find your way back together. And I feel like this person is actually going to come towards you. Um, for some of this person can literally travel towards you. Um, take it however it resonates. But I don't feel bad. I just feel like this is someone who they're going to try to present themselves to be something more than they're not. And it's like, you make me better. You make, you make them want to be a better person, but it's like the more that they interact with you, the more they realize, you know, they, they're, they are viewing themselves as they're not the person that they want you to see them as, and they want to be that person. Um, so I feel like, you know, uh, there could be a sense of withdrawal going cold to the situation. Um, and I feel like the time apart is so that there's a sense of working on yourself. Same for them. You're both, this is something to elevate you, help you ascend. This is something, this is a connection that's going to send you both down a spiritual path where, you know, you're really kind of delving in and removing things. And, um, yeah, see, look, I just got to look, preparing for union. This is you're meant to go through the separation to prepare you for each other to come together. So I don't know. I, um, sorry about that. I don't feel bad. I just feel like it feels like the right person at the wrong time, but it's like, if you two hadn't had this, don't have this initial interaction with each other, whether you've already had the interaction with each other or not, or this is, you know, yet to be depending on your timeline. It just feels like you have to have that first, it's like the rev up of the engine to get the, the, the gears going, but it's like, that's what gets everything going. So this way you two can do what you have to do separately, which prepares you both to come together and have a full two of cups without all the other shit. This is like going on your separate paths. So this way you can unload all of your baggage from, from previous things that you've dealt with and they can do the same for them. And this way, when you two come together, you get to experience what it's like to have an actual healthy relationship, a healthy connection without any of the fucking baggage. I freaking love this one. I love this read. I think this is the best one out of all three. So with that said, my loves, I'm going to leave you there. That is your read. All right, my loves. Well, if you made it this far, thank you all so very much. I absolutely love and adore every single last one of you. With that said, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, rest of your night, whatever time it is where you are. I love you all. Be well, be safe, and I will catch you all on the next one. Bye.